All right, you guys, today we are going to be doing a computer build. And what I decided to do is I was, well, I was going to buy a uh, iMac. Um, and I saw an iMac for, what was it, $899. Can you believe that? $899. So I was like, I was ready to buy that like, thing like right away. But further looking at the specs on it, so it was a 21.5 HD monitor with uh, the processor was 2.3 gigahertz, dual core, the memory was eight gigabytes, and the storage was one terabyte for $899. So I was like, okay. But then I looked again, I was like, hold on, it's only eight gigabytes. How am I gonna play any of my games, stream, and edit with eight gigabytes of RAM? There's no way. Because what I have right now, I have an old laptop that I've been using forever, and that only has four meg, or I'm sorry, four gigabytes of RAM, and it takes forever for me to process anything. So I needed an upgrade I need to build myself a computer. So that's what I'm gonna do. And I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. It's pretty simple, and this is what you're gonna need. The first thing you're gonna need is a motherboard, and this is the lower end of the MSI motherboard. I'm gonna go with uh, Intel, and I'm gonna use the Core i5. I'm just going to use the SSD, this will be plenty, and this is one terabyte. Corsair, and this is the Hydro series. And of course, I have the case and I have the clear glass, so you can see inside of it, you'll be able to see all the lights lit, lit up in here. Then I've got the GeForce GTX 1070. I wanted the 1080, but they're still way expensive. And of course, I got 16 gigs of RAM. For tools, all you're going to need is uh, a screwdriver. You're going to be working on carpet. Make sure that you just ground yourself by touching a piece of metal, grabbing any of your components. And when you do grab any of your components, make sure you grab them by the sides, by the plastic and stuff. Don't touch any of the pins and the... Okay, you guys, so step one, get your uh, motherboard out, get your CPU out, and get your RAM sticks out. Okay, you guys, let's go ahead and open up the um, motherboard. Get the Zeta cables out and the shield those oh and actually we need the manual we might need to look to see and make sure that we're putting we're hooking up in the right spots pull this out of the bag here and we're gonna set it just like that okay, now that we've got the motherboard out I'm gonna go ahead and take the uh, the Intel i5 core out and I want to get the chip out of here and I want to get it placed into get it seated. Okay, as you guys can see right here in the left hand corner, right here, you can see where my finger's at. You're going to be looking for this little uh, diamond here in the corner. We're going to pop this off here and take this off and we're going to unlatch it. And we're going to hold just the sides without touching any of the components, any of the gold parts, any of that. We're just going to hold it to hold the edges, the sides of it. We're going to seat it in here just like that. And that's it. We're going to go ahead and lock it back down again. And it seems like it's like really hard to push down, but it wants to be like that. It's like that because it really locks it in there. And we're just going to lock it in and just put it back underneath there just like that. Okay, you guys, so we're going to install our memory sticks. And you can see here right on the board, it shows you where you put your memory sticks at. So your first slots are A2 and B2. So I'm installing two memory sticks, so we're going to put it in A2 and B2. If you're installing one memory stick, you're going to start at A, A2, okay? Okay, you guys, so let's put our memory sticks in. Take off any extra plastic what's on your anything that's on any of your components so that we're not going to have any meltage okay so let's get this plastic off there you can see it see i got to make sure that it lines up so it pops right in there you're going to hear that click lock and it locks it itself locks your clips in and once again let's get this plastic off of here and now we're going to go to b2 so a1 a2 B1, B2, and this way, put the clips down so it locks in. And just push firmly down on it, and boom, we got them both in. All right, guys, so now we're gonna take off both side panels from the PC. 
uh, box. Comes with the shield, that's what we're gonna put on next. And then, these are probably screws and stuff in here. Yeah, so all the screws, got some zip ties and stuff like that, okay? And some instructions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, shield on. <coughs> this is uh, kind of a pain in the butt, but probably wanna lay the case down and see which way your uh, motherboard goes in. And then we'll just put that in there like that. Okay, you guys, so I've got the shield in and you can see I've got the components here. You can see the components are here. And what I want to do now is I'm going to lay this board, this back down with the board in, seated already, and then I'm going to put the, start screwing the screws in. Okay, you guys, so it's coming along pretty good. So I've got the motherboard pretty much in, screws put in, and we'll put the screw in here. And you don't want to go too tight, just snug. And this is how the motherboard should, or this is how your case should be looking at this point. You should have your motherboard in. And then you have your shield. Okay, so let's go ahead and hook up the power supply. And we're going to take the power supply and we want to make sure the fan is facing down. So just slide it down here in the basement of the box. And let's turn it around here like this. And you can take the four screws that came with your power supply, get them all lined up, and then we'll just screw them all in. Okay, so let's go ahead and install our hard drive or our SSD. And I don't have a hard drive in this, I'm just going to use a one, uh, one terabyte uh, SSD. Okay, so you're going to need a SATA cable and a data cable and I'm going to hook in to our data here and we need our SATA cable also to hook into the SSD and I thought I had them already and here's the SATA cable and we're going to put this in here also Okay, we're going to have to start off by removing two of the uh, PCI brackets. Remove the second and third one, looks like, for the, that to fit in there. So all you got to do is loosen this part here, slide it over, and then take your screws out of these two, and then just remove them. Some of them are bendables, mine aren't bendables. All you do is just remove them with the screw. You can put them back in if you need to put them back in. Install the video card and recommended is the top slot so we're just going to put this part into the top slot here and we're just going to listen for we're going to put it in and we're going to listen for a click and we'll know it's mounted in there you want to line it up Get it lined up and then just snap it in just like that. Take your screw and then just slide your PCI slot back over, lock it in. The graphics card is in GeForce GTX 1070. Okay, you guys, so we're going to put the uh, VGA cable on now onto the graphics card and it is keyed so, and then we'll put it in here together at one time and the VGA is the same as the PCI I don't know why the manufacturers like to confuse everybody but they do so I'm just going to slide this down into the basement because I have an opening here right here slide into the basement and I'm going to hook into the power supply so if you get a, a cable what says PCI on it it's the same thing as the Vega cable. It's just for your graphics card. Okay, you guys, so it's, now it's time to put the, uh, the Hydro Series on, the Corsair Hydro Series. And uh, it's got the radiator and the two fans, so I'm just gonna build that up. Okay, you guys, so let's go ahead and take the mounting bracket, and we're gonna mount it onto our motherboard. 
and we're going to use the Intel Intel ones okay so the Intel ones are the little thinner ones and they have another version with a little fatter end but we're just going to use these ones the thin ones because I am I've got an Intel chip and I'm just gonna flip this around now. Let me put one in first. And I'm just gonna mount them. We're gonna screw them in so we can mount the water cooler. All right, so now we got this one mounted. One mounted on here and I'm turn it around so you can see. Okay, one more to go. go and now we'll go ahead and we'll put the fans on top of the radiator and we'll get this thing mounted on there okay so let's go ahead and put the fans mount the fans onto the radiator let's take this one out and I'm just gonna have the wire hanging down like so both the wires hanging down here and just go ahead and take your long screws and mount, mount them. Tighten these ones down that I have now on here. Okay. So, and you don't have to do them super tight. Just give them a, a good little no, not too tight, you have to go super tight. Okay, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna take, I already hooked this one up here. Oops, let's pull this up here so you can see. So you can just take your, here's the other fan. I already hooked one into here, like so. And we're gonna take the other one and we're just gonna plug this one into here. Like that. Now we're locked in. Okay, now both the fans are connected, and then we're going to connect with just this one here. I don't want you to tighten them down too tight, just a little snug. That's all. Okay, so my fans are going to rest up against here. So I'm going to take these this off, and I'm going to mount water cooler mounted now onto the bracket. So all we need to do now is just go ahead and slide it back in here. We'll just tighten it down. Now all we need to do now is go ahead and put this onto the uh, processor. Okay you guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this on now. I just wanna do kind of a test run with the plastic over it still, just to see. Looks like we're gonna be able to get it on there nice and snug, but I just wanna do one shot and I don't want it to spread all over the place. I want it to be on there nice and snug without making too big of a mess, but I want it to land it right the first time. Get them two on. It's a little tight in there, but you want to keep it nice and snug. Keep pressure on it until you get all these in. And you don't have to tighten them down super hard, just nice and snug. Guys, here we go. Let's turn her on. Yep, there we go. There she goes, she's firing up. Alright, boot status is up on the screen. And now all I gotta do is just load up uh, Windows 10. Alright you guys, thanks for watching. Subscribe, like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Alright you guys, so here's the office with all the new screens. Yeah.